is absolutely, I mean, insane. It's insane. It's it's unbelievable. This is a, I don't know, I don't know. I can't really put my opinion in it because I, I just don't understand this. Anyway, Chicago is in $1 billion in debt. So the mayor, Brandon Johnson, uh, he, he had his wife redecorate and renovate their office in the Chicago Cultural Center for $80,000. Now remember, Chicago is $1 billion in debt. So, like, for instance, she spent $4,600 on a desk. $8,300 was spent on two club chairs. So they went and asked Mayor Lori Lightfoot, and she stated that they did not do any major renovations or redecorating to room 306 during her term in office. So they found out that he was, he was using campaign money to spend on a makeup artist. I think it was like around $35,000. So there, they might uh, raise property taxes so I'm going to go ahead and let the video play, but I, this is just unbelievable. Election law does not mention specifically hair and makeup. So depending on whom you ask, there is disagreement whether it's legal. He's not the first to use campaign funds this way, but in Johnson's case, he's using those dollars not just for himself, but others too. Last August, when we spoke to Mayor Brandon Johnson in a one-on-one -on -one interview, his makeup artist prepped him before we asked questions. Johnson is paying his makeup artist through his campaign donors. Likewise, this hair salon in Austin is also paid with campaign funds. It's just three doors from his former county commission office. Johnson has expensed more than $32,000 from January of 2023 through the end of March of this year. Campaign records show the makeup artist was paid $28,000, the hair salon $4,000. But Johnson is looking to cuts and potential layoffs to tackle the city's nearly billion-dollar budget shortfall. The Chicago Sun-Times reports Johnson has canceled two months of police academy classes as part of that effort to close the gap. Business reports this morning the mayor also told department leaders to find personnel cuts in their budgets as an exercise in case of layoffs as the city looks to find an additional $75 million in savings. The city is also looking to save $110 million through refinancing. The mayor's office announcing today the Finance Committee has approved the city to issue $1.5 billion in new bonds at lower interest rates to replace outstanding bonds at higher interest rates.